In this episode, we're going to talk about managing expectations. Should I ever stop putting money into a 401k? And what's the prediction on the market? We'll talk about that. Welcome to the Maluli Asset Show. I'm your host, Tom Maluli. We get the questions that we cover in this episode, episode number four. We get these questions from clients, from prospective clients, from people on the street. We even met a talking gorilla the other day. So ask your questions. You can find us on Twitter, on LinkedIn. You can email us at show at maluli.net but bring us your questions. So with that, let's get a roll on here, Case. What's question number one? All right, so the first question we got came from a prospective new client. It was, how long does it usually take for a new client like me to start seeing results? This is actually a really good question. We get a lot of referrals from clients and the clients uh, will tell these new folks that call us, uh, just talk to them they've been doing great uh, and so that's kind of how our first conversation goes like uh, you don't know me but I work with so-and-so and, -so, and uh, they tell me that everything has been going great and uh, I'm not doing that well with my investments um, can you help me out and so we'll walk them through our process how we um, approach investments and how we <clears throat> manage portfolios for clients um, but every once in a while, we'll get a phone call or an email from a new client, say three months into the process, and they'll say something like, um, well, I haven't seen anything happening yet, or not too much going on, or um, what's happening? And that's a, a signal to us that we need to re-engage with the client and talk to them about what our process is and also remind them that when we started managing this account we did outline it in most cases that we're managing for some long-term goal out in the future it could be putting money away for college or it could be managing a retirement account there's a lot of different things but they're usually not events that are going to happen in six months or even 12 months these are long-term goals that we're trying to help our clients with so that usually helps a lot. But then every once in a while, we'll get another check-in from a client, um, say six months into the process, and they'll say, so uh, when does the magic happen? You know, when, when, do, when does all the magic start? Because they came to us with this feedback from other clients saying, oh yeah, everything's great. So uh, that's usually another opportunity for us to have a chat with the client and talk about uh, when the magic starts. The magic actually starts when you stop looking at your account on a daily basis. Uh, I hate to say it, but we have clients that we can see when they log into their accounts and we see clients who tell us that they're, they say that they're long term, but they're checking their account twice a day, three times a day, and that's just too much. We don't do that, that many transactions to really generate um, the, you know, the need to look that much. Uh, we even have clients who um, tell us that they're conservative and they're looking for income, but they check their account every single day. I, I really think that's micromanaging. I know employees wouldn't like to be micromanaged. Uh, it, it's really tough when you're looking at your investments on a daily basis, especially when they're supposed to be really long term. Uh, when I was new in the business, I had a, a sales manager who had a really uh, corny sense of humor. And he said that uh, your investments are like a bar of soap. The more you touch it, the smaller it gets. So something to think about. So try not to look as much uh, at your investments. So I know uh, last night we were watching the uh, presidential debates and Donald Trump was on there and he said that uh, there's parts of the internet that he would like to close. Um, 
honestly, he has my permission if he wants to turn off this part of the internet so clients can stop checking their accounts so much. I'd be okay with that. Big Don, you have my permission on that. All right, Casey, what's next? Next question is, I've been putting the max into my 401k this year. It kills me to see the account hasn't really grown at all this year. That's a lot of money coming out of my paycheck each pay period. Should I continue contributing? That's a, that's a question where I think there's another question or another topic buried inside of it. Uh, there's the issue where uh, this person said, that's a lot of money coming out of my check to go into a retirement account. We happen to know that this person's in their 30s. Uh, look, when you're in your 30s, it's important to put money away for retirement. That's really important, but don't overdo it. Uh, we've seen way too many times where folks will put money in, they'll be socking money into their retirement account, and then two years later, they have to take a loan out because they have to pay off a, a boat loan, or they've got credit card bills, or they're taking the money out to put a down payment, uh, down, payment down on a house. So look, in your 20s and through your 30s, you got a lot of expenses. You're going to have credit card bills. You're going to have student loans. You're going to be saving money for um, a home someday. So it's really important that you save for retirement. And the sooner you start, the better. But keep it within reason. Don't get into a situation where you have to stop putting money into your 401k or your retirement account at work because all of your day-to-day -day bills or your monthly bills are exploding beyond control. I don't know if that really answers the question, but it's something that I really needed to talk about with clients because there's a lot of financial planners and a lot of investment folks that are just pounding the table now saying, you gotta be putting money away for retirement because we're all living longer and who knows about social security. But the reality is you gotta pay bills today. You gotta put money away for a down payment on a house. Maybe you have a car payment. Maybe you don't have that safety net that we talked about back in episode three. These are things that you have to address before you can put money away for retirement. So we gotta keep this all in perspective, right big guy? Casey's nodding his head. You can't see him, he's off camera though. All right, Casey, what's next? Next up, we got someone who wants to know what your outlook is for the market. 2015 has been pretty flat. So the market has been pretty flat. In fact, the market in 2015 has been waiting for the Fed to finally start raising rates. It's so funny that uh, we're, I think, about a half hour away from the Fed announcement. We're, we're taping this in mid-December. But the year began with the S&P 500 hanging around 2050, around 2050. And uh, Casey, go over to the machine right now and tell us where the S&P is. 2050. 2050. Okay. The whole year, big nothing. All right. So that's not necessarily the precise reason why the market's done nothing, but it seems like we're going to have years where the market's just on hold or the market's up or down a little bit. The one thing that I want to address, though, is that Maluli Asset is not in the prediction business. Over the next couple of weeks, there's going to be a lot of new. Uh, published articles and a lot of new stuff coming out online about what the predictions, what the experts say uh, will happen in 2016. We're not in that business. So uh, in my opinion, the role of your investment advisor, twofold, really important. First one is make sure that your investments are in line with your goals. So. Uh, like the prior question, uh, the uh, person was asking about, hey, I'm investing for the, for the long term for money that's supposed to last for 30 or 40 years, but uh, we haven't made any money this year. Well, let's take this on a long-term perspective, all right? So we have to really be careful about not getting caught up in the day-to-day -day news and the day-to-day -day fluctuations in the market. 5% drops in the market can happen without any kind of news or any kind of event. Things happen all the time. So we've got to make sure that your investments are aligned with your long-term goals. We also know that your situation can change over time. People uh, move, 
they get new jobs, they get laid off, they uh, get married, they have kids, things happen. They get sick, they get disabled, things happen all the time. So part 1A of our obligation is to make sure that as your situation changes, we wanna make sure that the investments continue to stay in line with what your long-term goals are. So the second job, which I think is a really most important job for investment advisors, is to stop their clients from making serious mistakes. And I'll give you a great example. Market pulls back four, five, six percent. Client loses patience and says, forget it, I, I, I'm, I'm out. I, I, I don't like the way the economy is going. I don't like the president. I don't like Congress. I don't like the new tax law. I don't know, whatever. So they come up with the goofiest reasons why they want to get out of the market. What they're saying is, I hate looking at this day to day and I'm getting really impatient and I just want something that's going to make me sleep at night. That's coming back to managing expectations. So again, the two main roles of your investment advisor are to make sure your investments are in line with your goals and stay in line with your goals. And the second thing is to stop you from making a serious mistake. Okay, that's enough for today. Don't forget, you can always subscribe. If you're watching on YouTube, just hit that red button down there, that red subscribe button, and send us your questions, please. Uh, Twitter, at Maluli Asset, email show at maluli.net. You can always pick up the phone and just call us too. That's all we've got to, for today. We'll see you next on Cinco, episode five, the big Cinco.